Leave mold. You see that? You cannot buy that. There is not enough money in the world to buy that. These leaves have basically fully broken down. They've been here a couple of years. As you can see, this this right here is broken down pretty well. But compared to this, I mean, look at that. All right. A lot of worm eggs and stuff I believe we have in there. I mean, it is time to take this and put it in the garden. You see that? That's leaf mold when it's fully formed. It's taken a good little while for it to happen, but that is leaf mold when it's fully formed. That's what it looks like. Okay? Now, if you don't have the time, you can take this and mulch it up in the lawnmower and then just put it out in the garden you're just fine this pile was nearly this tall now it's shrunk down why because it's 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 in its basic form now Ugh. look at that look at that look at that it's just it, i keep saying you can't buy this what you call good stuff oak trees everywhere just growing in it man just just stinking oak trees man you gotta pull them out you know they love it tree roots are growing in it everything it's time to pull it out get it on into the garden this will light your garden up and I'd much rather use this than peat moss any day because I can make this for free just put it in here I don't you know put it in here and uh, it'll break down I don't even have to really think about it and there you go. Now, someone mentioned on another video that I have about leaf mold, because I'm a big proponent of leaf mold, that their leaf mold made their garden acidic. Yes, that will happen. Leaves are acidic, therefore if you put them in your garden, your soil will become acidic. That is a fact. It will change the pH of your soil. Just so you know. Uh, now, if you have a very alkaline soil, putting lots of leaf mold will, is a good thing because it makes it more acidic. If you have an acidic soil and you add leaves, well, you can either just stick to only growing things that grow in acidic soil, like lots of berries, especially blueberries. Or, go ahead and use the leaf mold, but put what we call um, lime. You need to lime it, lime it up. That's why you say you need to lime up your garden because the lime will raise the pH. And if you notice the Greenhorn Gardening organic uh, formula has lime in it, which means <laughs> it automatically assumes that you're using this piece, piece, uh, leaf mold that I keep preaching about all the time. So if you're using all this peach moss and you're using the Greenhorn Gardening uh, fertilizer mix that I keep saying it just is not a problem because <laughs> it just works I mean I've thought about this stuff for years folks and so you know go check out that uh, greenhorngardening.com forward slash claim and you know when you use all this leaf mold consider adding lime to your garden now what, what is lime it's limestone they take limestone, you see limestone all the time down at the river. They take it, they pulverize it, bam, 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 into a powder. 
and what it will do it has calcium in it a lot of it is just basically calcium but it will actually it will raise the pH of your soil so if this is lowering it and the lime is raising it guess what happens it kind of cancels each other out now you have to keep track of how much you've limed you need to get a soil test you need to take a core sample of your soil you know take a little trowel plastic trowel take uh, about 20 samples or so from various spots zigzag approach in your soil mix it all together and then send that sample off to your agricultural university or land grant university in your state and then they will tell you um, the current state of your soil and what you want to do then is um, well, what you want to do then is once you know what your soil is like you can then begin to make adjustments maybe you need to lower the pH of your soil maybe you need to raise it you know you may need to add a whole bunch of leaf mold because you're, you you maybe have such an alkaline soil or whatnot and this stuff can help lower it or whatever they will give you advice as what to do to uh, to adjust your soil that's what happens when you use your native soil you have to work with what's there you're not starting with the perfect soil you're, you're starting with something that's less than perfect and you're having to kind of make it you know suitable and make it great for growing and that requires work that requires time that requires knowledge that requires skills that requires that you work at this for a number of years to get what you want if you don't want a garden like that it's best just to use the big box method that I talk about that I'll be talking about in the uh, raised bed growers guide and, uh, and this, you can get there a whole lot faster but I just like working the soils I think you learn more I think in the long run you just end up with more but uh, either way I mean that's how you deal with uh, leaf mold making your soil acidic and this is what leaf mold looks like after it's really fully decomposed it, you just it just looks like dirt you really can't tell it from dirt and it's just good stuff I love it you can't buy it I don't care what nobody tells you you just can't buy it not enough money in the world it's just it's just brown gold you know and so uh, check out greenhorngardening.com forward slash claim to get that uh, fertilizer so you can you know, adjust the lime and things like that and uh, and uh, I will talk to you guys later